Dang, I said that right. Wrong. I said that wrong. Dang it. <laughs> Welcome to today's video. My name is Christine and we are going to do some large family meal prep in today's video. We're going to take care of breakfast. We're going to take care of lunches, school lunches, work lunches, stay at home mom lunches, and some snacks for my family of currently seven. I have four kids, one husband, and a mom that is living with me at the moment. And I am taking a few minutes to prep all of these things for the times of day where I don't have as much time. Breakfast is one of those, and the hustle and bustle of getting everybody off to school and work is also one of those. Why are all of those things happen in the morning <laughs> before eight o'clock? So I like to have them ready to go to make my life easier in the mornings. So come along with me today and I'm going to show you all of the things we are prepping for this week as a family of seven. Now, before we get into the cooking, I'm gonna show you a little bit of a haul because I'm gonna use a lot of these items in today's video. So my Thrive Market order came in for the month and I got a ton of awesome stuff. Thrive Market is sponsoring today's video. They are essentially an online grocery store Store with a large selection of healthy and natural foods. And what I love about it is if you eat a specific diet, it is so easy to find ingredients to fit your lifestyle. You can search the marketplace by diet, so keto, paleo, whole 30, gluten-free, vegan, and some others I probably have never heard of before. You can search by grocery aisle, so you can search by canned goods, sauces, baking, or you can search by area of the home. They have beauty products, they have cleaning products, baby products. You can sort by what's new and also what's for sale, which is my favorite way to do it. They come in two options. They have a monthly subscription, which I do not recommend because it's gonna be more out of pocket, and an annual subscription, which is my favorite. Comes down to only $5 a month, and for every paid membership, they give away a membership to a family in need. You can even try it for 30 days and if you hate the experience completely, they will fully refund your money. So it honestly is a risk-free experiment for you, but I think you're gonna love it, honestly. And they're gonna give you an additional awesome deal on top of the already cheap $5 a month. If you sign up today through my link, they're gonna give you a free gift and 25% off your first order. And I have a little bit of a secret for you for some additional savings for this haul that I'm about to show you in like just a second. I signed up for auto ship. And if you sign up for auto ship, it's going to give you 30% off your entire order. And then you can go into auto ship later and remove the items that maybe that you don't want again. So you can change it. You're not locked into these things. Huge savings by doing that this time. So let's go check out my haul for the month. Chili lime plantain chips in my last box and they were so delicious that I had to get them again. I would highly recommend these. Some organic dark chocolate chips. I have never ever been able to find miso. So I was really excited to see this on the website. I've always wanted to make like a really nice miso soup. Up here, I'm a big fan of tortilla chips and this one was actually on sale. So I got the yellow and blue corn Thrive brand tortilla chips. We'll see how they fare. They're Thrive Market brand of pasta is actually a pretty good price. Bow ties are one of my favorite shapes and I haven't had them for a long time. So I don't think I've ever been able to find this at a grocery store. Help me out my Italian friends. Is it Oricetti? Uh, I know I didn't do the accent right, but is that, am I close to how to pronounce that? They just look so fun. I love different shaped pastas. So I'm excited to try this. I was thrilled to find out that the Essential Baking Company has breads, these take and bake loaves. I did want to get the Swedish Fish Smart Sweets candies again. I think these are pretty good. In fact, of all the flavors of this brand, I think this one's the best one, personally. Across the back, I got some basmati rice, some jasmine rice. I am a huge fan of actually both of these. It's hard to tell which is my favorite. Actually, you tell me which is your favorite. Do you like basmati or jasmine rice? better let me know down below. And my mom wanted a fancy flour. Mom, did you ask for white wheat flour? Yeah. Found this one and she said it would be acceptable. So she is going to give this one a whirl. My mom is also a big fan of peppermint tea. We're excited to try out this brand of peppermint tea, see if it holds up to her expectations. I was out of spicy mustard, so this was just, you know, restocking my pantry for things I was out of. And I saw these really fun beans. Have you ever cooked with these before? I kind of want to open it right now to see if they are in fact this like white and pink color. How pretty is this? I don't know what I'm going to do with these yet, but I'm excited to find out. They just, they look so fun. The last time I got the Kodiak Cakes muffin mix was a huge hit, so we got the chocolate this time, some Annie's family size mac and cheese, and if you've never tried the Annie's fruit snacks, 
you need to, these are amazing. A couple of sauces we have going on. I wanted to try out their pizza sauce. This was a recommendation from Jen Chapin. She got this and loved it, so we're gonna try it and see if we love it too. This was kind of like I saw it there and I was thinking, well, I have to try it, right? It doesn't that look delicious? I know. I can't find coconut cream anywhere in my stores, so I was excited to find it here. I was very low on honey, so I grabbed this super raw unfiltered honey. The Annie's Sweet and Spicy Barbecue Sauce, see how we like that? And last but definitely not least, artichoke lemon pesto. I don't know if I'm gonna put this on pizza or put it over pasta or eat it with crackers. I haven't decided yet, but doesn't that look amazing? That is my whole Thrive haul. If you wanna try it out for yourself, use my link down below to get 25% off your first order and a free gift. If you, like myself, have this hustle and bustle in the morning, I want to emphasize to you that Meal prepping breakfasts is a total game changer for me, especially when I have like kids running all over the place. One of them always can't find the shoes. Today, Tyler couldn't find his left sock. I don't know what that was about. They're always trying to finish homework. They can't find their backpack. Is it chaos in your house as well? Uh, tell me that it's chaos in your house too, so I'll feel a little bit better about myself. Boxed muffin mixes could not be easier. Yes, I can make them myself, it's not a big deal, but it does take a little bit more time and I really like these Kodiak cakes protein muffins. Dave is obsessed with these. These chocolate ones, while I didn't think they were super, super sweet, you know, usually a muffin tastes like a bald cupcake, you know, these were not so sweet that they could have been a cake, but they were sweet enough to where all of my kids liked it. Even my little one, who's actually not so little anymore, he's nine, can you believe it? But these were very good. And if you haven't gotten the jumbo muffin tins yet, you need to do so. Next up are some homemade protein bars. And if you are a longtime follower of the channel, you know that I make a peanut butter protein bar that has a vanilla protein powder in it. This recipe actually came from my sister-in-law. It is more of a chocolate homemade protein bar. So I'm using cashew butter, a little bit of peanut butter leftover that I had from a previous Thrive Market haul. The honey that I purchased, a little bit of water. You're gonna heat it up, mix it all together. This is a ground flax seed actually. So if you have some flaxseed hanging around, this is a great use for it. And a little bit of cocoa powder comes in next. You can use whatever brand you want. I'm just kind of using what I have hanging out. And then I have two tablespoons of a chocolate protein powder and two cups of oats. Don't worry, I did measure those in a dry measuring cup before I put it in there just to store. Then mix it all together. And you're gonna need to use your muscles to do this. And these stuck together really nicely. So. You could probably make balls out of this, but I just figured that mushing them into this glass dish with my hands would be just fine. And you can make squares out of them, bars out of them. You can cut them into circles. You could do fun shapes if you want, whatever you would like to do. These were a little less sweet than my previous version because I used cashew butter, but still delicious. In my effort to continuously clean out my freezer, I pulled out this ground uh, chorizo that I had from a local store, browned this up and decided to make breakfast burritos, like pre prep breakfast burritos for the next couple of days. These are so easy just to cook everything kind of separately and put them all together at the end, wrap them up, stick them in a Tupperware, in a bag. You can even freeze these. These could be like a month long situation. And then my kids adore breakfast burritos and they can get them out and cook them in the microwave or the air fryer, which is our favorite. I've finished up this Thrive Market salsa that I had sitting in my fridge, finished up some tortillas I had in my pantry and I was able to get out my raw tortillas to cook those as well and finish them up. I didn't even make potatoes this time. I just did the salsa, the eggs, the chorizo, and some cheese and that is all. You will see in just a second how awesome, and by awesome I mean not awesome, I am at rolling these up. The first one was fine because it was a burrito sized tortilla but it was the only one I had that was that size. The rest of them were more of a taco uh, taco style or fajita size tortillas, which are way too small to roll up the correct way, but it is what I had. It's, it was fine. They were still delicious, even though they were a touch messy and I couldn't seal the ends. So if you are doing this from scratch and you don't already have tortillas in your house, I highly recommend the burrito size ones because they're so easy to fold over. And here I am kind of I'm trying to stack them in this Tupperware and clearly they fell all over the counter because they're not staying inside the tortilla, but it ended up being fine. They were delicious. My kids loved them. I found this package of buckwheat pancake mix in my pantry. I did get this from Thrive Market a couple, like a month ago, a month or two ago. 
I wanted to finish the bag and get it out of my pantry. Pancakes, waffles are so easy to pre-cook. And think about, you know, you buy Eggo waffles. They're just pre-made waffles that are frozen. So you can make these, freeze them. I'm just following the instructions on the bag measured out the correct amount to finish off the rest of the bag so I could get it out of there, get them made, and give my kids something else to have for breakfast. And look, uh, I'm just wang jangling that together with uh, one half of a beater thing and not a whisk. <laughs> I have this new griddle. It is uh, the Presto brand and it is massive. It's one of the biggest ones I've ever seen or have, and it's supposed to cook nine pancakes, but I must have measured these kind of on the large side. But if you're interested in a new Gretel, I'm loving this one for a large family. I will link it down below. I just picked it up on Amazon. And if you're one of those people that always forgets about the last batch of pancakes and burns them, give this video a like because you and me are spirit animals. I have this bacon in my fridge, so I decided to cook this up and meal prep some salads. While the bacon is cooking, I am chopping up all the vegetables I could find that might be good for salads or just for snacking. So obviously all those bell peppers, my kids will just eat those anyway. I have a ton of lettuce that I wanted to chop up. These are just from Main Hearts from Sam's Club. A surefire way to get you and your spouse or your kids to eat more salads is to meal prep them like this. They look just like the ones you get in the grocery store. So Haley, me, Dave, and my mom actually all really like stuff like this. Here are my salads and I have some mashed avocado to the side of some of these salads. Over here, I just put in some Italian dressing packets on a couple of these. I wish I had olives, but that's not something I typically buy. Dave likes them, so should really start buying those a lot more. And something else you can do is I'm gonna put this uh, blue cheese dressing in these old uh, sauce jars from HelloFresh for a couple of the salads as well. Are you a fan of blue cheese? I am not. It, it's super, super tangy and stinky to me, but Dave has really started to enjoy it. Trying to, I made those little, those little cups for him because I know he's been enjoying the uh, blue cheese. But just snapping all the lids on and they are ready to go for the week. Oh, I made Dave kind of a special salad over here. I have this uh, bent go salad container. And this bottom piece is where all of your lettuce and tomato go. I just don't happen to have any tomato today. And then on top, you stack all of your add-ins. So I have the cheese, some tortilla chips that I actually got from Thrive Market. There are these. And some cooked chorizo right here. And then in the center goes your dressing. So right here and today instead of dressing if you've never done this on a like a taco inspired salad you should uh because it's pretty low in calories is just salsa so find your favorite salsa put that in the middle like this i mean you could do chicken you could do croutons whatever you want and then you pop that on top and it comes with a fork and they can build their salad however they want when they are at school or work in dave's case this will be for work stick this in the fridge for him right now Moving on to another lunch meal prep. I, I find that I'm extraordinarily lazy at lunchtime, even though I'm at home. So something like this, uh, I'm making some panko crusted chicken with some vegetables. I'm just doing like broccoli and potatoes, putting them in meal box containers. This was really easy to put together. It's very simple. It's just, it's a protein and vegetables and that's all it is. And I talk about that all the time. It's the easiest dinner, it's the easiest meals, it's the easiest thing to meal prep. But I find that I'll work and work and work and not pay attention to what time it is. And then I realize it's one o'clock and I haven't eaten and I wanna get back to work or go do something else. And I, I don't wanna go sit and even almost don't even wanna make a sandwich half the time <laughs> because I just wanna get something and, and go on about the rest of the day. And for Dave in the mornings, just to be able to grab a little meal prep container, like the ones you'll see me put together in just a second are so convenient. My daughter Haley used to be able to heat up food at her school. She had a microwave, but right now at the high school, they took all the microwaves out. Although my sons in the junior high and middle school do have microwaves still. So I don't know why that's different. That seems weird to me, but 
anyway, Haley won't be taking these, but these are more for uh, myself and Dave to have lunches to meal prep. These chicken breasts were so good. I mixed the panko breadcrumbs with some butter, paprika, salt, pepper, and oil, and just topped them on the chicken. Delicious. One of my family's favorite snacks slash desserts that you can make at home that's a little bit healthier are these coconut uh, truffle date bites. They have no sugar added except for the chocolate bit of it because they use dates as the main sweetener. So I have my uh, food processor right here. This is a Cuisinart 11 cup. Uh, these are not cheap, but a very high quality food processor will last you your entire life in the kitchen and is one of my personal favorite tools, honestly. So if you have a birthday or when Christmas comes up again and you wanna just kinda ask for one present, this is a great one to ask for. So the only ingredients that we're gonna need are uh, my dates that I got from Thrive Market. I, I don't think I got these in this box, but uh, previous box. Some salted roasted almonds, some coconut oil. This was from Thrive Market in a previous box. I have the dark chocolate chocolate chips some coconut and some cocoa powder. I am currently using this one. In case you didn't know, I use, <laughs> I keep all of my measuring cups and spoons in a little Tupperware like this in my cabinet. So I just pull the whole thing down when I need to bake or anything. And I get a bunch of questions about where I got my stuff. So just to save, save the questions, uh, this one that has like the three quarters and everything, these are on Amazon. So I'll link those. These blue ones were from Pier One rest in peace and I think that's all okay so let's start with the almonds you can get the unsalted but then you're not gonna have like a nice salt balance in your bites so I would recommend just getting the salted ones three quarters of a cup and we're gonna blend these in the food processor until they basically turned into almond powder next up we're gonna add 30 dates and it is kind of annoying to count these out but they said 30 dates i don't know if these are pitted i kind of hope they are because if they're not that's gonna be annoying but oh my gosh let me have them always fresh never dried organic how the heck do you pronounce that medjool i am saying that wrong mom how do you pronounce that medjool 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 i would think well oh, that sounds better than what i did what's the best way oh there we go you do not want to put that in your bites. So get those, okay, I'm gonna, okay. I gotta unpit these, de-pit them, pit them, and I'll check back in in just a minute. <laughs> I finally finished all those dates. Uh, I would recommend buying the pre-pitted dates. That's a lot easier. Okay, they're all in here, and now it's time to mix these again until they form like, uh, like a clump, I guess you could say. You know, these really are easy. I should make them a lot more than I do. Next up, we will add the coconut. Look, you can tell because I put um, a label on it. Because I'm extra like that. A half a cup of coconut, and you can do whatever you want. You can do sweetened, unsweetened, chunks, chips, whatever. It does not matter. Ugh. It does not matter. I like coconut a lot. Okay, so a half a cup of coconut two tablespoons of coconut oil. So what I did is I melted it in the microwave here and I'm gonna measure it in this one. Okay, two tablespoons. And two tablespoons of cocoa powder. It's actually one tablespoon of coconut oil, but I live in a really dry climate, so I'm trying to make them a touch more moist. Two. Now we'll mix these together one more time and then shape them into balls and chill them before we dip them in chocolate. While my bites are chilling, it's time to melt the chocolate chips. I'm like feeling really good about myself with these organic, high quality dark chocolate chips. Glass bowl, we're gonna do this in the microwave. I can't remember how much I'm supposed to use. It always, it's always more than I think it should be, always. Like more is better than not enough, right? If a little bit is good, more is better. It's the motto I live by. So that's about half of that bag. This is one full pound, so I have about a half a pound of chocolate chips here. And I'm just gonna put it in the microwave for about 20 seconds, stir, 20 seconds, stir, 20 seconds, stir. You don't wanna go too long or else you're gonna scorch your chocolate. Uh, just go slow, like, it'll go. This was about a minute and a half in the microwave and you can see how easy it was to stir and this is the consistency that you want. 
Now, I probably should have added some shortening or something to thin this out a bit. It's a touch on the thick side, but I guess that's okay if you like really, really thick chocolate on top of your little treats. This is what they look like, and because they're cold, the chocolate does harden really quickly. And I divvied these up into these small storage containers, so my kids can snag one, throw it in their lunch, Dave can snag one, put it in his bag for lunch, or maybe I can grab several of them and eat several in one day. As a reminder, I am gonna have recipes for the items that have a recipe down in the description box below, so don't forget to check that out. Also, do not forget to check out the Thrive Market deal that they're gonna hook you up with. Free gift, 25% off your first order. Uh, it's pretty good. For me, it's kind of a no-brainer because I cannot get a lot of these specialty ingredients in my super small town. And also, sometimes I don't like to put on pants. So it helps a lot to be able to order on the app or on my computer and not even get out of bed and have it show up at my front door. Thanks for hanging out with me today on this uh, pretty productive meal prep. And I do have a few extra chocolate chips left over. So I'm going to go watch some YouTube myself, snack on some chocolate chips, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye. Goodbye now.